the Wii U, remembered by many as Nintendo's greatest failure, with the console selling an embarrassing 13.5 million units. With the Wii U's terrible marketing and confusing name, it was no surprise that it failed as a console. However, Nintendo's greatest failure may have, may have greatly helped the next console, the Nintendo Switch. At first glance, it doesn't look like much of the Wii U resembles the Switch, other than the similar design of having a small screen with two halves of a controller on either side, which many memes have pointed out. But when looking into further detail, it looks as if the Switch has accomplished what the Wii U strive to be. One of the Wii U's selling points was that on select titles, you were able to continue playing, even if someone else was using the TV. This concept was then fully realized and expanded upon on the Switch. The Switch can not only continue playing games while someone else is using the TV, but it can also be taken anywhere like a handheld. This gave the Switch the unique trait of being a hybrid model console. When people saw the Wii U, most thought it was an add-on to the original Wii. This was in part to the bad naming on the console. This confusion of not knowing it was a brand new console decreased the amount of sales the Wii U gained. Another branch of bad marketing was that most advertisements were targeted towards young children. The reason this wasn't a very great move was because most of Nintendo's audience is young adults who grew up with previous Nintendo consoles. Take a look at these clips from a Wii U game advertisement and then a Switch game advertisement. Yoshi's Woolly World's brand new yarn Yoshi. Spring Yoshi, fling Yoshi, tie the boss in string Yoshi, zoom Yoshi, boom Yoshi, finding a secret room Yoshi, down Yoshi, underground Yoshi, jump Yoshi, then pound Yoshi, tap in a yarn Yoshi amiibo, Woshi. It's a double Yoshi Exploshi. Yoshi's Woolly World Special Amiibo Bundle available only on Wii U, rated E for everyone. Now next is gonna be the Switch advertisement. As you can see from the two videos, the Wii U ads are heavily trying to appeal to children, while the Switch ad is more targeted to young adults while still being playful in the ad, while also adding some pretty decent humor. There's an obvious difference in the quality of the advertisements of the two consoles. However, the Wii U is a complete disaster, as they were able to learn from the previous marketing mistakes and allow the Switch to achieve great marketing. The Switch had a clear name to show separation from older consoles, so it was not mistaken for an add-on. Also, advertising the Switch was more targeted towards young adults. With both of these aspects in place, the Switch was able to reach an audience with a clear understanding of what it is. If you look at the Switch's first party games, you'll quickly notice that a handful of games are ports from the Wii U library. And if they aren't ports, they are sequels to Wii U games. Some of these ports are, but not limited to, Mario Kart 8, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, New Super Mario Bros. U, and Captain Toad Treasure, Tra Treasure Tracker. These games are brought to the Switch to bring new life into them. Although that is the main reason, some of these games are able to push consoles, such as Mario Kart 8. That, this obviously helps the Switch gain more sales numbers. Even though the Wii U was a failure, it wasn't all for nothing, as Nintendo was able to forge a new and improved console. Mistakes are natural and necessary, 
because mistakes can bring brand new ideas and solutions, as seen with the Switch and the Wii U. The Wii U was a necessary stepping tool for the Switch's success. Hopefully Nintendo learned from their past mistakes and will continue to create new and innovative ideas for years to come.